All right, and welcome to yet another edition of Lunchtime Live, coming to you from the campus of California State University, San Bernardino. For the next hour, you are going to hear some phenomenal music from one of San Bernardino, Riverside, or San Diego County's greatest local bands. Today, we are delighted to be joined in studio by the band Rose Hot from Riverside. So now, without further ado, here is your host, Misha Sisakan. Misha. Thanks, Lacey. Good morning, guys. How you doing? We're delighted to have Rose Hot here in the studio. In the studios of Coyote Radio on the campus of Cal State San Bernardino. And you guys come from Riverside. That's, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll explain that because I guess that's not totally the, that's not the full story. But it's most. All right, all right. Let's, let's start with some introductions, if you don't mind. Uh, I'm Jonathan. Mm-hmm. I do the singing. <laughs> Jovan, do the guitars. Mm-hmm. So I'm Kevin, and I play drums. All right, right on. And we're missing one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who's, who's really, I, well, I got to throw this in there. Okay. Gabriel, the bass player. Mm-hmm. He's not here. He's in Hollywood. He is competing right now, as we speak, mm-hmm. five days long to break the Guinness Book of World Records. This is no joke. Yeah. To, it's a Simpsons marathon. I don't know oh, if yeah, yeah. Heard of this or mm-hmm. saw it on TV. Mm-hmm. He has to stay up for five days straight and watch every single episode of The Simpsons. And when he gets it, <laughs> he wins 10 Gs. Yeah, he wins 10 grand. Are and you then, serious? Yeah, and he's going to totally wet by this. Finance our recording. He's going to finance our recording. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're rooting for yeah. Gabriel oh. and his well. wife to the spa. All right. All right. Right on, Gabriel. Hey, we're all rooting for you over here. That's for sure. (laughs) Wow. Hey, you know what, Lace? Maybe we should go over there instead. I know. We can sit through a few. That's right. All right. Well, again, thanks for being here, guys. Uh, I'm I'm glad you guys jumped on the opportunity because we're delighted to have you here. We want to learn about you. We want to listen to your music. So, okay. You said you're from Riverside, but that's not the case. I mean, but you're all from the Inland Empire, sort of? uh... Correct. Okay. Okay. Um, I grew up in Rialto uh-huh. and a little bit in Riverside, but I met the bass player Gabriel in Rialto. That's where we grew up, went to high school, oh, running okay. out of bands. Yeah. Um, I grew up in uh, East LA, and then I moved out here to Fontana. I've been living there for 10 years. Recently moved um, mm-hmm. to Riverside, okay. where we usually practice at. Um, I'm also a student here, a graduate student here at Cal State San Bernardino All right. for the MPA program. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was born and raised in uh, Riverside mm-hmm. and just recently moved to Northridge. Boo. Oh, wow. Out of the okay. Yeah. All right. yeah. So you're the one that commutes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Now, is this your full time gig or do you guys have some nine to fives that you got to deal with? Uh, what's, what's the story there? We got nine to fives. Yeah. You know, uh, okay. It's just enough to keep the income flowing toward the band. All you right. Know? All right. So. Okay. I do a little uh, substitute teaching, you know. So oh, okay. Do that on the side, supplement the income. Probably know. the last guy on earth would expect to substitute <laughs> teach once you hear the guitar playing, you know. But, yeah. Shout out to my Pacific High School students. No. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, of course, your name, Rose Hot. What's the meaning behind yeah. it? What's the story with that? Let, cool. let us story know. In the world. Let us Not. know. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> I, I, know, know. People, awesome like, I noticed a lot of bands are like, oh, we opened the Bible or we look through this magazine, you know, to find a certain definition of a word or something like uh-huh. that. No, we uh, we were at a Stone Temple Pilots show when they just got back together with Jimmy. And they were playing at Jimmy Kimmel stage. Okay, okay. That's out back in the parking lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was a building covering Roosevelt Hotel in half. Oh. We dropped one of the O's. You can imagine R O O S E and below it H O T. Yeah. You know, so we dropped one of those as the band name. Boom, Rose Hot, right in the middle of their set. So we wow. Were like, oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. A little spontaneous. STP. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, right on. That's that's a spot in eighty rocks. Are you kidding? <laughs> that's what it's all about. Yeah. <laughs> hey, inspiration when it, when you least expect it, right? But the first song we're going to hear is "Cities Alive." Now we're going to take a listen to it, then we'll get a little story behind it. But this is "Cities Alive" by Rose Hot here on Lunchtime Live. Stay tuned. Oh man, that was Cities Alive by Rose Hot here on Lunchtime Live. And I just got a that's that's a pretty good song. You got a lot of elements going on in there. The uh, let's let, how how did that one come about? A little let's, bit of metal, a little bit of blues, yeah. a little bit of everything. Yeah. I think that one just kind of 
came off of a what just hanging out late nights you know <laughs> bar here driving over here we were hanging out vegas a lot and yeah. you know it kind of just oh, that the city's always alive yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. the concept of kind of just like <laughs> hanging out uh-huh. boozing having fun all that just good a little stuff. party song you all know, right so. And then um, also, like, well, I should add a lot of the riffs kind of, like, inspired by, like, Prince kind of. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> like, inspired kind of. Uh-huh. Like, I thought well, there I'll was something of, different in there. Like, okay. Punk kind of. Yeah. Izzy Brothers. I'm, I'm ben, learning more and more every day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're in the band and you're yeah. now. Okay. <laughs> See, all right. All right. I, I didn't want, I didn't <laughs> yeah. want you to find out this way. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, in front of everyone. No, it's it, it's really good. It's 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 really well produced. It's really well put together. Now, do you guys write as a band as a whole, or somebody writes more stuff than the others? What what goes on? It depends, really. Uh, sometimes I'll have like some cool little riff or something. I'll mm-hmm. throw it out to the guys, and they'll hate it, and then I'll bring it again. The same exact riff. I'll just kind of sneak it in there. <laughs> that's exactly. I'll sneak what it in there, and they're like, song, "Oh, that's it? like really good." I guess it just yeah. depends. Like some days we're like have a certain thing in mind and yeah the, the, the day you bring it up it's like man that sucked and then the next day do the exact same thing throwing some, sounds great <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. starts throwing like some cool lyrics to it and i'm like damn and it kind of just inspires yeah, us and yeah it's a real spontaneous process with the songwriting with us you know okay yeah, yeah. that's good you got that you got that quick dynamic there <laughs> <I tried to. laughs> all right all right so you guys can write you guys can play but when did you start playing that whatever instrument you play and what made you do it and what does it do for you i mean uh, I started playing drums when I was like two or three years old. Oh, all right. Um, it's kind of always been in the family. My dad was a drummer, so there were always drums set up in the house. Mm-hmm. And so uh, when I was old enough to just sit on the stool and just hit things, I, I started teaching myself. Um, and the rest is history. Oh, all right. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I've been playing guitar since I was 10. Um, I was a really big fan of all these like old school, like Wayne's World and Bill and Ted's Adventure yeah, and yeah. a lot of the rock influence. <laughs> so I grew up, I mean, listening to all these jams. A lot of my yeah. uncles were like old school kind of party rockers and stuff. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. they influenced me. I've been playing since I was 10. I kind of just self taught, just picked it up. Uh, I would hang out a lot at Guitar Center in LA and Hollywood and just kind of watch people. I was like a little kid, you know? And yeah, yeah. Ever since then, yeah, I've just been jamming ever since little shows here and there at school and just for fun but nice now we're here you know and um <laughs> me uh you know i've always really had a real love for music you know mm-hmm. my dad always played like classic rock in the car and mm-hmm. stuff like that mm-hmm. for some reason as a kid i was always more into like r&b you yeah, know yeah, with yeah. your friends in school and all that yeah stuff, yeah you know? yeah but then uh when i was about what 13 14 years old uh-huh. My dad threw on, you know, this like Johnny Lang CD and uh, it was sheer, sheer blues, you know. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, that kind of that kind of mm. made me want to just sing, you know, and just kind of went from there. It started off very pretty sketchy and yeah, <laughs> got a little better from there. But yeah, the blues made me sing. Oh, well, right on, guys! It, it, it shows through your music. It, 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 you compile everything in there, and those inspirations come out. You get little influences here and there, so that's really good. But we're gonna take a quick break right now because we need to pay the bills around here. But we're going to keep talking with the band Rose Hot from Riverside here on Lunchtime Live, so stay tuned. an artist or a band or you know of one that we should be playing or speaking with here on Coyote Radio or on Lunchtime Live, be sure and write to us at CR Music. That's the letter C and then R and then music at csusb.edu. CR Music at csusb.edu. And we're back with more Lunchtime Live today, joined in studio by Riverside's very own Rose Hot. Here again is your host, Misha Sisakin. All right, thank you, Lacey. That's right, we're we're having a nice little chat here with Rose Hot in the studio here. And we're, we're having some fun. You guys having fun? I'm yeah. having fun. All right, all right, that's good. All right. Now, we were, we were talking about inspiration before the break, but are there any musicians that inspire you or that influence you or that you your style takes after? Do you want to, you can address that any way that you yeah, like. Yeah, I mean, me, uh, one of my favorites is uh, John Lee Hooker, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. You know, way back from you know the Delta Blues era. Yeah, yeah. And uh, wasn't the best guitarist, wasn't the best singer, mm-hmm. but yet he's a legend because you know I feel like he's just really passionate about what he does and how he how he projects himself. And I just have like 
Mozara, I respect for that. I thought that was pretty cool. And of course, like Zeppelin and all the cool stuff. And them, whatever. You know, Zeppelin, they're okay. Yeah. You know, <laughs> guitarist, what's his name? <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> and uh, yeah. um, lately, I've been really into this uh, one like slide guitarist. Uh, his name's Eric Sardinas. He's kind of really mm-hmm. inspired me. I've been picking up the slide. There's actually a song I've been. <clears throat> bring it in today but i'm incorporating a lot of the slide guitar now and stuff oh, okay and so just really i'm kind of into like this uh raunchy kind of blues lately yeah. and also um some other bands i big zeb fan of course mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. big uh fan of like these uh pseudo kind of like they don't get too much recognition but uh, like isley brothers ernie isley i'm a big fan of ernie isley yeah, uh yeah. prince obviously that guy's bad you know he gets on there jumps up <laughs> jams on the guitar then plays the piano and stuff you know <laughs> Uh, of course, like there's some obvious choices like Van Halen and mm-hmm. Jimmy Page. You know, these are all like inspirational guitars for me, and I kind of just keep them on rotation, see what I can learn from them. I yeah, yeah. put them on YouTube, check out like their moves, and yeah, know, that's right. <laughs> mimic them as much as possible. You know, so just whatever I like, I kind of try to incorporate that into my like stage presence, my riffs, yeah, you know, yeah. my whole thing. There's nothing wrong with mimicking. That's good. <laughs> <fair. laughs> they did something right, so I thought, yeah, <laughs> can't go wrong. That's right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, it's everyone from from Buddy Rich to to Tommy Lee. Um, I love jazz and I love jazz standards. I love the swing, but then I also love the the hard hitting kind of pocket grooves of mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. you know, like Motley Crue and Led Zeppelin, John yeah. Bonham, obviously. Yeah, and yeah. Um, I think John Bonham, John Bonham, and Keith Moon might be my biggest playing influences. But mm-hmm. I'm always looking. You know, whether videos on the internet or going to shows, I'm always looking for new ways to uh, be a more engaging and exciting showman. Yeah, yeah. Um, which I mean, you'll always see them flipping sticks and throwing <laughs> oh, them in geez. there and catching them. You'll. You're not Keith that's Moon what, reincarnated, are you? Yeah, <laughs> no, no explosives in the bass drum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So just, uh, just everyone who uh, who makes a noise behind a drum kit. My influence. You get to learn from everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So do you guys use any interesting equipment? Any you guys have any old instruments that you use or something that creates that sound that you just listen, you go, That's Rose Hot. You guys have anything like that? Cowbell. More. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, that fever. That's right. Um I'm a little short on cash, so I pick up guitars that like my uncles gave me. I've been using them ever since. They're Mm -hmm. a little old. They have like nice little refined sound to them. Sound great. Right. Um, aside from that, I just recently bought an amp. For the longest time, we've been uh, having shows. I've been rocking out this old school amp I've had from my yeah. uncles, and it's been dying on me and on stage, oh, no. kicking in. And oh, stuff. No. So, um, yeah, we're just trying to build it up, build up the band little by little. Yeah. I mean, finance is a big issue, right? Oh, yeah. But, oh, yeah. That's why we kind of worked out like that CD, that demo that we turned into you, mm-hmm. and the four songs. That, um, save ourselves some cash. We recorded it all like in what four hours or something like that four hang hours on, hang on that was a demo and you guys recorded that in four hours and it yeah. sounds that good yeah we were uh, short oh. on cash <laughs> wow wow okay well again now that we just learned that that's a demo and those tracks sound that good we're gonna dive into another track here this one's called vampires we'll listen we'll get a little bit of information from you again you're listening to the band rose hot here on lunchtime live stay tuned Enjoying Lunchtime Live on your local Time Warner or Charter Communication cable channel. Remember to check out this and other local bands 24-7 on Coyote Radio. Online at radio.csusb.edu. That's radio.csusb.edu for Coyote Radio. You're listening to Lunchtime Live from Cal State San Bernardino. Today we're joined in studio by the band Rose Hot. From Riverside. Here again is Misha Siskin, your host. Thank you, Lacey, as always. Now, yeah, we we are we're having a ball here with Rose Hot in the studios of Coyote Radio here on the campus of Cal State San Bernardino. And we've been getting to know everyone a little bit better, but we're gonna dive a little bit further. 
It's going to be a little mixture of questions. We're going to see what, what really makes you tick, <laughs> besides music. <laughs> now, let's, let's start with you, Jonathan. As right. a musician, has, have there been any moments which have made an impact on you or someone else simply because you have that ability to play music? Mm. I'll reflect on this story. Let's see, one time I was walking downtown Long Beach, uh -huh. and uh, there was like an open mic setup, mm -hmm. right? And there's this homeless dude that I constantly see. All he does is stand there and play harmonica every single day. Like, uh -huh, uh -huh. you know, and uh, he's looking for someone to play with. Oh, okay. You know, I just happened to be walking by. I borrowed someone's guitar. I said, let's go play. You know, I'll play one of my little blues songs, you know. Yeah, yeah. Some words. It was totally spontaneous, and the place went <clears throat> crazy. And all of a sudden, other people were walking up to this guy. Hey, why don't you play harmonica with me? You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, all of a sudden, this guy's a superstar. Wow. So, I'm, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying anything about myself. I'm just saying, you know, like, I was able to make this dude's day you know yeah. not me but but just the acceptance of everybody the whole audience and everything and that was all yeah. done through music Jovan, what about, cool. well, what about you sir well as a sub i go around a ton of high schools all throughout the inland empire um i try really hard not to solicit the band but uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> i can't help it so, <laughs> so i thought i'm in a band here and there and i you know give the students some cds and stuff and uh it was at one point that uh one of the high schools here in San Bernardino that I started a little guitar club for a while, and that was really oh, cool. Just because okay. they found out I played guitar, I had mentioned it. And yeah, yeah. Did that, and right now I'm currently teaching um, uh, two two little kids how to mm -hmm. play guitar. One of them's about eight, the other one's ten years old, I think. And okay. So music's really just been out there, kind of just giving me a bunch of opportunities to talk to people, and uh, it's a good uh, front runner for uh, talking to girls. You know, I doesn't hurt. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah it is. I'm, I'm in a band, you know. Hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a, yeah, but, uh, man! You gotta you gotta throw that out there. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. kids with cancer or something. Oh yeah, oh, that's yeah, right, Kevin. Yeah, what about you? Like, uh, that's pretty noble. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. sorry guys. <laughs> no, uh, the the band I told you about earlier, Sirens. I uh, uh -huh. we just uh, a couple weeks ago played at the Avalon uh -huh. in uh, in L.A. and it was a uh, it was a charity show. It was mm -hmm. they called it a uh, a danceathon, okay. like a dance party. Okay, and um. Kind of like a um, when you run laps and you collect a certain amount of money yeah, per yeah, lap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they did that, but through dancing. I'm not sure how it worked. Oh, interesting. But, um, yeah, it just raised a bunch of money for uh, kids with, with, I think, just any kind of cancer. Okay. Um, so just cancer charity show. So that's been kind of like a highlight for, and I wanna, for me. Yeah. Um, that's cool. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I want to subtract that last comment. You know? <laughs> Compared to that, I feel a little bad. No. Nah, <laughs> yeah. No. Nah, it's yeah, all right. Jersey, it's all right. Yeah, take mine back, too. It's not. <laughs> yeah. No Trump. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> all right. Well, we want to share with everyone another song because we want everyone to hear that collaboration, that those, those dynamics. And this one is called When You're Not Here. Again, we'll listen. We'll get some story. This is When You're Not Here by Rose Hot on Lunchtime Live. Stay tuned. We're definitely here. <laughs> that was When You're Not Here by Rose Hot here on Lunchtime Live. And I know we don't have much time left, but we want to fit in a couple more questions here. One of the most important ones, what can other aspiring artists do to reach the level of success that your band has uh, has achieved? Uh, who wants to field that one? Uh, Jovan, uh, you want to do it? I'll start it out, yeah. Okay. So, um, okay. I'm assuming you always want to make time for your music, really. I, yeah. I know... As you get a little older, you start having all these things to take care of, families, yeah. uh, jobs. But you always need to find, my biggest suggestion is just find time to write the music, find time to practice, find time to get together, and also um, be open to other people and their styles and influences. And mm -hmm. don't be closed-minded because that's when you can create these uh, really great um, trippy sounds that everyone might enjoy. You, know, yeah. you never know. So just yeah. be open to all the possibilities and styles and practice. Awesome. Uh, yeah, just uh, just practice, 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 and really don't let anyone tell you no or that you can't. Okay. okay. Anything, John? Yeah, that's. I think they pretty much covered that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Be, be open-minded yeah. and stay 
keep to what you're passionate about. Open-minded, passionate, yeah. and, and practice. And be willing to play in front of like small crowds, big crowds. Yeah. Just be uh, ready and open to any possibility because sometimes you'll be playing in front of like two people at a time. So, yeah, like, yeah. More people might show up and you're just tripping. Yeah. All right, all right. Right on. Good for you guys. Now, really quickly, where can people listen to your music? Let's, let's go over those sites again. If you have a Facebook Find us on Facebook, mm-hmm. uh, Rose Hot Band. Mm-hmm. Look us up there. Just type in Rose Hot, and you'll you'll see our band's picture. Yeah. And um, we actually can you you can you can click on the link that takes you to Reverb Nation. Yeah. You can download all our songs for free right there. Oh, okay. So all you right. know we're not we're not in the business yet to be charging people for yeah, our stuff. Yeah. We're not. <laughs> that's that's way later, hopefully. But yeah, you can find us on there. All right. Awesome guys, thanks so much for coming in. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. band Rose Hot, they're going places, that's for sure. And uh, wish you all the best in the future, of course. All right, now we're gonna we're gonna take it away, right, Lace? We're gonna wrap it up. We here. are indeed. All right, thanks, guys. And again, thank you to the band Rose Hot from Riverside and other places abroad uh, for joining us here in studio for yet another edition of Lunchtime Live coming to you from Cal State San Bernardino. Be sure and join us next week for Lunchtime Live and in the upcoming weeks because we're going to be welcoming, amongst others, the Sleeping Sea Kings from Riverside. As always, remember to support the musical artists of your neighborhood. And until we meet again for the Academic Computing and Media Department at Cal State San Bernardino, as well as the entire staff of Coyote Radio, I'm Lacey Kendall. You have a great week. Another late night, just another street night. Another red light, just another street fight. Another slow ride.